guys. So if you are seeing me in this shirt again, <laughs> It is because, uh, well, I do love re-wearing, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm actually doing three videos in one sitting, so um, that's why. But today we are continuing in our James study, which is uh, chapter one. We're gonna be looking at verses 13 through 15 today, and uh, I am really excited about this one. These are actually some of the most interesting verses to me, and so um, join us as we continue on in our study of James. So today we're going to be talking about temptation and does God tempt us? Does God actually cause us to sin? Well, let's take a look. We're going to jump right on into James chapter 1 verses 13 through 15 and I'm using the NIV translation today. You can use whichever you would like, but this is the one you're going to be seeing on your screen. So let's jump right on into it. It says, starting with 13, when tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Then, after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. So this right here, it gives us basically the full life cycle of sin, which is, I feel like it's just, it's so enlightening. It's so like, oh yeah, that makes sense, right? Um, and so it says right away, I'm looking at my phone in case you see me looking down, I'm kind of reading from it. So when tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me, right? For God cannot be tempted by evil. And I think that's something that a lot of us look at, well, evil's in the world and God was the first person. And so, or person, okay. God was the first being or whatever. God created all of this. So that must mean evil came from him. And then that must mean he's tempting us. But no, it's saying here, when tempted, no one should say that God is tempting me for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. So his word says right there, it answers that question. He is not the one who is tempting you, but each person, and this is where it gets interesting, but each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desires and enticed. So it's not God who's the one who's bringing the evil, and who's tempting us. It's us being enticed by our own desires. We are being dragged away by our own desires. So it's coming from within us. It's not, this is not about being within God, it's being within us. And so it says, then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full, full grown, gives birth to death. So that's interesting too, because I think a lot of times people think, well, if a thought just enters my head, then that means it's a sin. We have a choice, okay? We have a choice. Is this going to be something I'm gonna dwell on, or is it gonna be something that I throw out and say, that is garbage and I am not thinking about that? Uh, we get to accept or reject it. This is even saying, okay, it's saying, then after desire has conceived. So there is this moment where, you know, maybe like, let's just, let's just talk about lust for a second, okay? That's like an easy one to, to talk about, okay? When you have a um, immoral sexual thought that enters your mind. I know this is something that a lot of guys deal with, but a lot of women deal with it too. And so let's say you've got this thought, okay? Um, you could, it could be sexual thought, it could be jealousy, I mean, whatever. You've got this thought that enters your mind, okay, right away. Well, I mean, you can decide, is this something I'm going to dwell on? Is this something I'm going to think about that I'm going to continue to let it develop in my mind and then maybe act out on it? Or even if you don't act out on it, but you still continue to dwell on it, that's where it becomes sinful because we're being enticed by it. We're being dragged away by our own desire. and We're allowing it to settle and to conceive and to become sinful. Even if you don't act out on a thought or something right then, 
um, something's going to happen where it's going to be acted out. Okay, if it's if it's in jealousy, it might be in how you treat the person that you see that you're jealous of. Okay, you may have a jealous thought, but eventually something's going to happen where you meet that person, and it's actually going to affect how you interact with them. If you have a lustful thought um, and you allow that stuff to stay, sooner or later, you know you you've got people who are addicted to pornography. Um, you've got people who are involved in um, sexually you know, immoral relationships, um, people who are having affairs. I mean, things like that, all sorts of things happen. And it, it all stems from allowing these thoughts to come in and to just stick around in our minds. And we, we tend to think, oh, it's not a big deal. It's just a thought. It's a huge deal. And that's what this is saying. It's a huge deal. It's not the fact that it knocked on your mind's door. It's the fact that we let it in and we allow it to stay and become comfortable. But there is a, there is a point where we get to say, okay, that thought entered my mind and absolutely not, I'm not going there. And I'm rejecting that right now. And so that's what it's saying is that then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. And so that's, and that's where the word says that we're, the wages of sin is death. I mean, that's basically what we, what we, that's our wage. That's what we've earned. We've earned death. And Jesus took that for us. And so he paid the price for us. So we do not have to be burdened by sin any longer. And, um, and so I just wanted to, to, to share a little bit of my thoughts with you on that, because I think that this is just, it's such, it's just a couple of really incredible verses, um, that really talks about the life cycle of sin that really talks about you know, how temptation works, how sin works in our lives and how it can really start to take on sort of a life of its of its own, really. I mean, it's kind of what it's saying here and it, it destroys us. And so I just wanted um, to share with you some of my thoughts. I'd love to know some of your thoughts. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and comment below, um, subscribe. There's a subscribe button that's there, I don't know. There's, it's somewhere around here in one of the corners. <laughs> it says subscribe. It has an LB under it. And so anyways, go ahead and subscribe for new videos. We do cover videos every single week. Some of them are originals. Some, most of them right now are covers. Um, we do that every week. We do sort of a life application vlog. And, and of course, we just started this Bible study and we're just going to keep on until we're finished with James. If you would share this with uh, on social media with your friends, anywhere that you're involved in. I'd love it if you'd get your friends uh, in on the conversation. And uh, if you have subscribed recently, I just wanna say a huge thank you because um, you are helping us to grow our community. And I really, really appreciate it. And same if you shared this with your friends and if you liked, comment, commented, whatever, um, any type of contribution that you've made to this um, channel through being interactive, I really, really, really appreciate it. And so I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.